How's everyone doing? My name is Fashion Jaya, co-founder of Oilfield Basics, and today we're going to be talking about kill weight mud. We'll be discussing the reasoning behind it, as well as how to perform the calculation itself. But before we get started, please be sure to visit our website at oilfieldbasics.com learn, where you can learn more about our vast and complex oil and gas industry. And also, please follow our social media. We have a YouTube page, a Instagram, a Facebook, and a LinkedIn. We're growing those social media pages uh, daily, so please be sure to follow, follow those pages to stay up to date with what we're doing and upcoming videos and courses that will be coming on our website. So what is your kill weight mud and why is the equation so important? Well, your kill weight mud is a mud with a density high enough to produce a hydrostatic pressure at the point of influx or where your kick is coming into your well bore that will be sufficient enough to shut in the well and basically kill the well. So your kill weight mud is the mud weight that will balance your formation pressures and it will allow you to keep control of your well, thus reducing any loss of control, which will hopefully not, but can sometimes lead to a blowout. And so that's why your kill weight mud is so important and why the equation is so useful in times of where you may have a kick in your well bore. Okay, so now let's go through how we can calculate our kill weight mud. It's actually pretty simple. So your kill weight mud, or your KWM, will equal your mud weight plus your shut-in drill pipe pressure divided by constant 0.052 and divided by your well TVD, or your true vertical depth. So your KWM, your kill weight mud, equals your mud weight, that's the current mud weight in the well, plus, this is all in parentheses, so you do this first, your shut-in drill pipe pressure, that'll be in PSI, divided by constant, 0.052, and divided by your well TVD, which will be in feet. Once you solve this part, then you'll add it to your mud weight, and that'll be your kill weight mud. Alright, so now let's go through an example. Say you're drilling on 9.5 ppg, um, that's your mud weight, and you get a influx of formation fluids into your well bore, and so you need to kill. You need to balance that formation pressure um, with your mud weight, and so you'll have to figure out what your drill shut and drill plate pressure is. So, say in this case, it is uh, 600 psi, and you'll divide that by your 0.052, and then you'll divide that by your well TVD. So, let's say we're at 10,000 feet. That's our true vertical depth. So, let's go through this um, calculation. So like I said, we'll be at 9.5, that'll be our PPG, will be our mud weight. Shut and drill plate pressure, 600 PSI. Divide that by 0.052. And divide that by 10,000 feet, which is our true vertical depth. And that'll equal 10.65. But here, we always round up to the nearest tenth decimal place. So in this case, what you'll want to use as your kill weight mud will be 10.7 ppg. And so as you can see, this calculation is pretty simple. There's not many variables you have to calculate or determine. And so this equation can save hundreds of lives, so it's very important. So with that being said, I hope you learned something new today. And thank you for your time.